Hello everybody, I'm back with something new and different. This is The Mummy, that new movie inspired by Tom Cruise and all of them. Discovered the tomb and she rose to power. Pretty freaking cool. And, uh, this is pretty cool too, what is this? Nope, change my mind. That don't look cool. <laughs> so, um, now, there's a downloading content, as you can see. Just waiting. What? What the hell? Quick to menu, yes. What, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, play. <laughs> fucking serious. That's the second damn ad. Chapter one, if that it stops, is that it stops. <laughs> we in Egypt, early morning. There's nothing like Tom Cruise. <laughs> what the fuck? Nothing like Tom Cruise. Not even slightly. Not even slightly. Just AAA card. What the hell am I supposed to choose?
I'm sorry if I'm going fast. <laughs> I mean in real time, so. It's pretty cool how they like animated. It's like comic bookish, but it's not. <laughs> No shit. No, I'm absolutely terrific right now. Let's get their info. We should really keep in touch after this. I really feel just awful about this. Chaps, I really do. As your guide, I feel uh, a strong, um, dare I say, uh, a paternal responsibility to keeping your fellows out of danger. But really, who'd assume gun runners were couriers this close to the Delta? I mean, that's the odds of this? Yeah, so it's your fault. Wait, it's still your fault for taking us this way. Start thinking about what you dis think about our discounts gonna oh Gah. Sir <sighs> Okay, 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 okay. That's, this is not the guy you want to hit. Oh lord. Wait, wait, wait. No. Get in a happy place for me, okay? Please. You're, you're 29 again. You're in that hotel. Indonesia. Indonesia. Remember that girl? Oh crap. Summon creature. Oh, scorpions! Oh, god damn it! She's fire. She's fire. Uh, um, lot sent in. I'm scatteri. I don't know what the fuck I just said. Fellas, seriously. A motor with a backflip isn't worth this. Okay, I would be in the middle, I guess. It's just a scorpion. It's just the bug guys. Please, please, gents. G gentlemen, this has gone far enough. Not late. Your associate needs medical attention. Medicine. <laughs> I'm so done. Let's just go our own. Our own. Is he speaking that language? I think he is. Okay. What is it? Alcoholics. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get out of here, Greg. <coughs> to start, here's the facts. Little clean tissue papers th paper thoughts that billow about Nick ever since the events of London. He was born in April, violent September. They both perished the past this past June in an airplane crash listed in an accidental collision in the uh, USAF registry. And we both resurrected that very same month. Since then, they had been traveling Egypt for one single-minded purpose. To either find some means to control the new power sets, presence gifts Nick, or remove the entity entirely. His abilities are extraordinary. Yes, 
but have grown quickly impossible to control and he continually feels sick and wears sicker an outwardly decaying host to an unwelcome tenant replenished with gas our travelers leave uh, Vale complains of his ear still ringing but he oh sorry but doesn't want to openly blame Nick for the event near Jensen but Nick cannot conduct miracles without Set's permission as Vale well knows and Set's wonders only come when the objectives are aligned when Nick can feel its loose coils tightened and grip and the thing stirs from its sleep it is not unlike a dog Nick thinks loyal to fault and uncaring of timing or context but the scope of that loyal is vague and narrow and includes him only out of dire necessity so where were we? where were we? ah yes the intel that has uh, brought them to this part of the continent a few townspeople gripped with superstition uh, burdened with knowledge from the world's more arcane corners spoke to them openly desperately of a lost script whispered to contain a mystical book the hair go clicking fucking fast okay let me chill it's just yes I hope the tomb I suspect should be up through here wait Hold up a sec. How are you doing? <sighs> to be honest, I'm feeling a little sick right this instant, but uh, it'll pass. Alright, if you need to take a break or something, let me know and we'll stop. Can I say something? You don't look good, which I'm sure is hard for you. I'm sure it's because we're dead technically, you know? <laughs> so. Okay, sorry. This would be a stretch. <laughs> this is the way. Though, I'm sure of it now. It's a bloody... It is bloody hot down here. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to lie. It's nothing. Honestly, it's the best policy. I'm weak. Or really... So it was nothing really, just old war stories. The specific one was about the time we died. Ha! <laughs> Almost died. Almost died. It's a plane crash a month or two ago. Before we uh retired from being you know, armed um armed services. It sounds positively fitting. What happened, may I ask? <laughs> we didn't almost die. We literally died. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Jensen. Uh, he's... He's... Uh, shit, I forgot. Fuck, I clicked too fast. He's being his Raymond's new mind. <laughs> we didn't... We didn't die. That would be... <laughs> impossible. <laughs> Very good, you know. No, I, I, no, it was, and uh, uh, you know, I'm about accident once, and it can't really, it can really feel like it was your time. <laughs> Come on, it's going to the left. You two are lucky, you know, it wasn't definite. I'd be available to do this and to my knowledge at least no one else even knows this place exists the tomb of the voyager well strictly speaking and just so you're aware we're in a sort of it's a gray area concerning who's allowed here and who's not how do you know about that hmm if it's so secret, how do you know about it? I used to work with a colleague who's been obsessed is too forceful, but he is very interested in his tomb and that book. For a very for a variety of reasons, 
we eventually went our separate. But in the last few weeks, fortune just happened to smile on me. And I got a happy lead. Perfect timing. You popping up? When did you really just tune itself it? God damn it. They trying to find a book, I believe. Eagle Head Guards and Ra, all the rest, they didn't humor any of that. They were called the Seven Jackals, but there's been little verifiable, verifiable <laughs> evidence that they actually existed. Why would they call the Seven Jackals? Because it sounds cool, I mean. Wow. Because <laughs> it sounds scary and cool. Okay. To um, discourage any outside intrusions. I mean, they were very private people. Mr. P.C. Blake and Dr. Mo Rooney, old friends and new wid widowers, now fresh with new money. In turn, amateur explorers and possibly romantic paramours. With just enough hints. Delicately sprinkled to explain their desire for secrecy. This is who Jensen believes them to be. In his confidence in that belief, they can sense always as a subtle vibration underneath every conversation and encounter they carry. Our pilgrims keep on through the carved out tunnels, each area they pass echoing their talks to every living and unliving creature burrowed within its holes. Nick, before everything, felt like he was being watched and spied upon. Even when he was... What? Myopi ignores the internal senses, but now he wears a sensation like a heavy coat. The dead, he discovered, can be, ne can be never held but stare. He doesn't think he'll ever get used to it. Did you hear water? Ah, uh, yeah. Lord and Savior. It's this. This must be an archie chamber? Auntie chamber? <laughs> it's a room that connects all the, all the others. Wow, so this is it? Yeah, right? This is the place, right? The right place. The book should be here. I. I think so. I've, I've honestly, I've never seen anything like this. This is incredible, really. This is a, why is it so big? <laughs> yeah, most of it, you know, most of these tombs are the size of quarters. One bedroom apartment. Tell the truth, I didn't think we would send it. You know, to even accommodate all this scaling here. God, there's, look, there's paintings there and there, I can't really place them historically, huh, <laughs> this is very ordinary, false doors are meant to symbolize the passage from one realm, the living to another, the dead, classically, this is the sort of thing you'd see in tombs built after the end of the old, uh, old kingdom, 3rd millennium BC. Hmm. I'm not even... What? Well, doesn't happen. Huh? Never mind. It's just a really... This is just a real bloody door. How is that possible? <laughs> Where's the hinges? Those of antiquity were hung by peabots. Now, naturally, I've never seen one in the Egyptian tomb, but this might be the same ingenious really for the time. Well, hieroglyphics on the wall, on the jugs, these dead and dark, denoting the CDC. Excuse me. Sorry. 
The Egyptian calendar was divided into three distinct periods of the year, based entirely on flooding cycle of the Nile River. And so what? How do you what? <laughs> Like a piece of target? Yes. I think to open this door, you need to do the same. You find a hieroglyphic that matches the ones on the jars. Any um, tips on getting through from Avalon, maybe? Because <laughs> you, because you know, you mentioned earlier how you died. Just loud. <laughs> Fine, imagine hieroglyphics. You're kidding me, right? Okay. Uh, okay, I seen that. That's right there. Wait. Okay. Okay, up to the symbol says Shumo, the season of harvest. Some of the driest months when you think of the desert. You think of Shumo. Ah, you're fine. It's Akhat. Or oh, at least the way the Seven Jackals would have written it. Ah, see, the door has moved slightly. We're making progress. Good. Okay, so pretty cool little puzzle. Okay, so now, okay, uh, that yeah, that engraving. What does it mean? It says quiet, which means season of growth. December to March, usually the cooler temperatures move when I would receive. I just saw that shit right there. There you go. You can't fit or we can't fit. <laughs> That's just saying you're fat. We can't all. Okay, um. Okay, boom. No, actually, it's right there. That should do it. Hey now, would you look at that? Will be <laughs> well done, Mr. Blake. Well done. Open sesame and all that. Right? <laughs> Bloody good job. <laughs> you weren't much hope. <laughs> you were the assistants. I'm not reading that. Feel free to pause the shit if you want to read it. He's stealing from tunes.
<laughs> no rookie souvenirs, it's just new achievement. Uh oh. Let what? There was supposed to be only three of us. What? The fuck? What the fuck is going on? I think some. But how? The door's closed. We had to unlock it with the hieroglyphics. So how is that fucking possible? Okay. I didn't get the other achievement, which meant um Jensen stealing from the tomb, which was not freaking happening. So no. I think I did made the right decision, whatever. But I will be back later on with part two, excuse me, chapter two of this story. So we need to figure out why the fuck are there people there with us if the door was already unlocked I mean was locked when we got there we had to unlock it with the the three uh what do you call it the lamps or something and match the symbols in our graphics so we gonna see we're gonna see you know we're gonna see what happens okay so yeah I will be back we're gonna, there's a lot of chapters actually, up to, up to 36 chapters, so this is gonna be real long, and this is inspired by the new movie, with Tom Cruise and, you know, other few people, so yeah, I will see you guys soon, you have a great day, bye.